what's up guys welcome back to my tutorial so it's been some time since my last videos so in this video I'm going to teach you guys our module for this Java series so these are our module I'm taking this module from our Java SE tutorial by Java so the first thing we're going to learn is object oriented programming concepts also known as OOP concept so what is an object and after that we're going to learn about what is a class what is inheritance what is an interface and finally what is a package so in this videos we're going to learn what is an object so I have prepared some presentation for you guys what is an object first thing you need to do is have a look around stop for a moment and take a look around you check out all of the objects around you you have your laptop printer likes mark and all of that stuff why did I ask you to have a look around because this is an object oriented programming language so one way or another they are related so what's the deal they all share two characteristics they are state and behavior for example we have a uh, dogs dogs have their state for example they have their name color breed and hungry and they also have their behavior for example barking fetching and wagging tail let's take a look at our next example we have a bicycle here Talking about bicycle, I was planning to buy a new bicycle, uh, road bike, and I'm about to sell my printer and my. I have this Wacom. I used to draw before, but right now I want to have a fit body. <laughs> so, back to our tutorial bicycle. They have their state such as current gear, current pedal cadence and current speed and they have behavior that is changing gear, changing pedal and applying brakes so I have a question for you guys can the bike bark? of course no but why? because bicycle doesn't have a state that is quiet for barking another, another question is that can the bike I mean can bike eat of course no because it doesn't have the state of hunger so it doesn't have behavior for it I hope you guys uh, understand something by now so we have this example by Java documentation back to our bicycle things here this inside here is our state state is always inside and the outside is our behavior so as you can see we have state of 18 mph 90 rpm of cadence and fifth gear and the outside is our behavior as you see behavior are always related to the state of an object they cannot be related to state of other object for example I give you I give you example of the dogs just now bicycle behavior cannot have a state of dog because those objects are different objects now here comes the communication that you guys need to always ask yourself what possible states can this object be in and what possible behavior can this object perform you always you guys always need to ask this question when performing object oriented programming such as java and now this uh, diagram of software object i've already explained to you guys the inner one is the field state and the external one is methods also known as behavior so software objects are conceptually similar to real world objects they also consist of state and related behavior an object stores its state in field if you guys are familiar with um, for example C++, C Sharp or Visual Programming 
vp.net you guys might already learn about variable so in java this is the same thing except that they change the name to fields similar things with methods also known as functions in c++ c sharp and other programming language just to make things clear you guys need to memorize this and in this video i'm going to explain a little bit about encapsulations here are a good example consider you have a skewed secretary you ask her to get the name of all the employees in your company later on you demand her to find their related salary according to the name and plus you want also to give a raise to a certain of them in this situation your secretary is encapsulation when you ask her to list the name of all the employee you're implying get name method in java get name method is nothing but to get the name of the employee and we're going to use this name for for this salary and also for the set race continuing later on you ask her to check the worker's salary this is the get salary method to we're going to get the salary from the workers detail and after round we'll continue with the race see so you have the set race method now in a nutshell encapsulation is bundling of data secretary has nothing to do with marketing the software your company make that is for the marketing department now marketing won't touch data of the secretary as you can see secretary is not one part of encapsulation and marketing is one part of encapsulation both both of them doesn't merge they doesn't relate in one way so that is good thing about bundling data or encapsulation as you can see encapsulation also useful for data hiding for example using private access modifier i think i've already explained to you guys about access modifier private means that only the only the things inside the class can access this but pr for public things outside this class a for example we have class a and class b so class a has this public access modifier item so class b can access the class a object but if you set it to private class b can't cannot access the object and finally we came to advantages of bundling code we have modularity the source code for an object can be written and maintained independently of the source code for all object. Once created, an object can be easily passed around inside the system. For example, we have our get name method. We're using the get name for the set salary and get salary and set race. This is what we call as easily passed around inside the system. We also have information hiding. I've already explained to you about uh, private and yeah, private private access modifier. We also have this code reuse. That means that if an object already exists, perhaps written by another software developer, you can use that object in your program. This allows specialists to implement, test, or debug complex task specific objects which you can then trust to run in your own code. An example of this is that I have written to you a class of the secretary just now. And after that, you download the class and you want to use it inside your software so this is what we call as code reuse because you can use that class and yeah you can use that class 
for example and finally plugability and debugging is if if a particular object turn out to be problematic you can simply remove it from your application and plug in a different object as a replacement this is analogous to fixing mechanical problem in the real world a good word is that if a bolt breaks you replace it not the entire machine this tells us that encapsulation is good because if one part of it is problematic you can simply replace it plug in and plug out if it has some problem you plug it out and replace with another so I hope you guys learn something new with this object oriented programming and you guys have learned the basic of what is an object thank you guys for watching this video please subscribe for more videos and like this video if you like and dislike it if you dislike thank you again and see you guys in my next video see ya